Hello, welcome to Unicorn Princess Tarot. So, ito po ang ating pick a card reading. So, um, ang ating question ay kung ano ang nararamdaman niya para sa'yo. All you have to do is pick one card. Ayan, o. Oh. Ito ang choices natin. Card number one, card number two, card number three, and card number four. So, mamimili ka lang po ng isa dyan na um, tingin mo makakapagbigay sa'yo ng kaliwanagan sa tanong natin kung ano yung nararamdaman niya para sa iyo ha so kukunin muna natin itong card number 1 we have here rest and relaxation is essential we all have a fundamental need to take a break so titigan mong mabuti yung card and um pakiramdaman mo kung nandito yung kasagutan sa tanong mo Okay, our next card, card number two, love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstand every situation. So, ito yung card number two natin. Card number three, miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. So, ito yung card number three natin. Card number four, Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. So, all you have to do is pick one card. Tapos, pumunta ka sa description box. Piliin mo yung time frame. Pindutin mo yung time frame ng card na napili mo para mas mabilis kang makapunta sa reading na para sa'yo. Okay? Pipik. Hawakan ko lang yung lahat ng cards para mas matignan mo pa. Ayan. Ayan. So, that is card number 1, card number 2, card number 3, and card number 4. Okay. Okay. So, para sa mga nakapili ng card number 1, rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. So, ito yung card na napili mo. So, ang main energy na lumabas sa iyong card ay ang the star. Ito ang iyong person. Okay. Okay. Okay, para sa mga nakapili ng card number 1, we have here rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. So, ito yung card na napili mo. So, sa tanong natin na um, kung ano yung nararamdaman sa'yo ng person mo, okay, uh, ito yung card na lumabas sa'yo. So, ito yung main energy ng person mo. We have here the star. The star. So, Aquarius energy po ito. Pero never mind the sign ha. Kasi maaaring napipick up, up lang natin yung energy and hindi yung mismong zodiac sign ng person mo. Okay. We have your wedding rings, passion, the dragonfly. So, um, nakukuha natin dito sa person na ito. You are this person's wish fulfillment. Ibig sabihin, isa ka sa hinihiling niya, isa ka sa... Uh, laman ng puso at isipan itong person na ito. Kung mahal ka niya, mahal ka niya. Okay, kung ano yung nararamdaman niya sa'yo, sabi na nating wagas na pag-ibig ito kasi hinihiling-hiling ka pa niya eh. With the, with the star, this is your person having these wishes. Kaya lang pwedeng may marriage involved in the situation with the wedding rings but there's a lot of passion. Um, alam mo itong person na ito kahit pa paano looking forward siya sa union ninyong dalawa. And uh, we have here, be, uh, the dragonfly be lighthearted, finding out things, coming out. To light, adopt, change, heal. Itong person na ito, papunta ito sa'yo. Hindi nga lang nakikita sa ngayon dahil maaaring itinatago or hindi pa siya ready. But I feel like this person is really there. Medyo may mga inaayos lang siya. But until now, this person really loves you a lot. Napaka, uh, pwedeng may communication kayo na itong person na ito para sa iba ha? Kung may communication na kayo, there's some sort of an offer coming here. Pero hindi ko pa nakukuha sa'yo kung tatanggapin mo yung offer. Kasi with the Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, pwedeng may pag-aalin langan. Okay? Or, we have your true love actually. Uh, this is a very good, a very nice card for you. Let go of control issues, past life relationship. Alam mo kung bakit? Kasi itong mga cards na lumabas na ito. Pwedeng may soulmate connection kayo nitong person na ito. Soulmate contract, ganyan. But uh, I feel like this is the person, this is the one for you. 
uh, someone from your past, pwedeng past life relationship, kung hindi man past, kung bagong tao pa lang ito, pwedeng sa past life mo, nung nakaraang buhay mo, siya yung person mo. Pwedeng ganun. May soulmate energy tayo nakukuha dito. Kaya lang, we have to let go of control issues. So, maaaring may mga issues pa na kinakaharap sa ngayon. Pwedeng sa side mo, pwedeng sa side niya. Pero there's true love here. This is the romance of a lifetime. Mahal na mahal ka nitong taong to. Kaya lang, yung person mo trying to control his or her emotion pagdating sa sa'yo. Maaaring tinatry niyang i-control ang sarili niya. I-try ko. I-control yung sitwasyon. Pwedeng ganun. Kasi may pagkocontrol dito. Okay? Or pwedeng sa side mo ito na may mga bagay kang kinokontrol. I mean, take what resonates. Kasi yung mga nagwa-watch dito, nakukuha ko yung energy na pwedeng ikaw ito na may kinokontrol or pwedeng yung person mo. Pero may pagkocontrol na nangyayari, ha? So, on lumabas dito na cards, our first card is the Five of Swords, Two of Cups, and Ace of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Alam mo, ngayon ito pinaglalabanan ito eh. Pinaglalabanan ng person mo yung, ener yung energy na nakukuha natin which is the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Sobra-sobrang pagmamahal to. Punong-puno umaapaw. Hindi kita pinaaasa pero sa totoo lang, sobrang kumbaga kung ano yung nakikita mo, kung ano yung tingin mo sa kanya, maaaring nararamdaman mo or alam mo kahit papano yung nararamdaman niya para sa'yo. Pero hindi mo, hindi mo nakikita higit pa sa alam mo yung pagmamahal na nararamdaman niya sa'yo. Yun yung sagot. Mahal ka niya at higit pa don yung nararamdaman niya. Okay? So we have here the lovers. Pwede kasing may marriage involved dito sa situation ha. And kaya hindi magkaroon na we have here strength, Leo, energy, and um, three of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, energy, Gemini energy is also here. So, ang nakukuha natin dito ay uh, sa totoo lang, wala lang lakas ng loob para magkaroon ng unity or union sa inyong dalawa. Pero, looking forward itong person na ito. We have here the lovers, the strength card in reverse, and three of wands. For some of you, you're still growing, nag undergoing ka pa dito sa pag-grow sa sarili mo. And ganun din naman siya. Okay? But there's a lot of love. Wala lang lakas ng loob para gawin ito. Pwedeng may mga isinasa alang-alang. And we have here the magician. And eight of wands is here. And also five of cups is here. So, nakukuha natin dito, uh, we have your Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Ang daming pinagsisisihan nitong person na ito. Kasi hindi niya akalain na magmamahal siya ng ganito, na, may, na mamimiss ka niya ng ganito. Kaya lang hindi siya ganun ka-open with the magician. Ha? Marami siyang sikreto na itinatago. Pwedeng hindi sa'yo kasi pwedeng may marriage involved dito pero hindi sa'yo. Pwedeng with the other person ha. I'm seeing a family here with the Ten of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy or a husband and wife. There's full of love pagdating sa family. Kaya lang ang problema pagdating sa uh, relasyon na mag-asawa hindi na nagiging okay. Hindi nagiging masaya. May mga hidden agenda dito and pwedeng itong person mo itinatago niya yung yung hidden etong etong emotion na to, sa totoo lang hindi na siya kumbaga kumbaga sa pagmamahal na paka empty na nung pagmamahal nararamdaman niya with the other person pero nakatago yan maaring ang ipinapakita niya sige may forever ganyan or hindi man ganon maaring iba lang talaga yung ipinapakita niya pagdating sa kanilang marriage life pero sa totoo lang there's a lot of pagsisisi here with the five of cups okay sobrang nalulungkot at saka concentrated siya sa sorrow niya ngayon eh sa lungkot na nararamdaman niya ngayon. So, we have here, Ten of Cups, the Chariot. So, aalis. Okay, may pag-alis tayong nakukuha dito, ha. Time will come. Itong person na ito, aalis kung nasaan siya. Okay? Pwede umalis siya doon sa marriage situation na ito kasi the Chariot right here is someone na umaalis. Okay? Dito sa karma na ito, we have your karma. And that is, we also have here the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. You might be dealing with the Virgo or pwedeng pumunta. Yun lang yung nagiging problem eh. Yung karma. Kung bakit hindi siya makapunta. Tsaka isa pa pala, hindi siya nagiging open. Pero this time around, once, once na makaalis siya and hinarap niya yung karma niya which is 
This could be you, this could be your person na nagkakaroon ng, alam mo yung pinakakarma dito, yung pagkakalayunin yung dalawa. Pwede hindi man yung certain na tao yung karma. Pwede yung pagkakalayunin nyo. Pwede rin naman karmic person ang nagiging, ang, ang, ang nagiging problem. Pero time will come, aalis itong taong to para harapin yung karma niya. Or ikaw to na para harapin yung karma mo which is yung pagkakalayunin yung dalawa and have this the hermit in reverse which is yung pag-open up ng emotion dito to give you this offer to have this uh, girl talk which is pakikipag parang uh, sabihin ng time with you hindi man relationship agad-agad pero at least magkaroon man lang, lang kayo ng time together you know having fun yun yung nakukuha natin dyan to have fun with you, magkaroon ng pagsasama ng union, okay? So, yung person is looking forward sa mga yon, okay? Because, kung ano yung emotion niya para sa'yo, there's a lot of love. Sobra-sobra, nag-uumapaw, higit pa sa inaasahan mo. So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope nakaresonate kayo. Please do like and subscribe to our channel, Unicorn Princess Tero, Madam PTV, and Virgo Philippines. I love you all, and bye-bye. Okay, para naman po sa nakapili ng card number 2. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstand every situation. Okay, so for what I can see here, we have here the Empress. Um, I mean, I don't know. Pero medyo hindi ko nagugustuhan yung energy ng person mo. We have here the Empress. I feel like ang energy ng person mo, feeling niya entitled siya, ha? So, might be meron... Meron kayong connection itong person na ito, pero pwedeng with regards to uh, baby, ganyan, pwedeng may ganon, pwedeng may usap kayo regarding children, may anak, may children involved in the situation. Pwede rin namang wala. Pero pwedeng medyo matibay na yung pinagsamahan nyo, may connection kayo and may relationship. We have here the wedding. Kung hindi relationship, connection na medyo matibay na, na pwedeng umabot na sa wedding or marriage or pwedeng may pagpaplano ng ganyan. But you know, medyo nagiging ano yung person mo ngayon eh. Hindi, hindi natin, uh, kasi yung energy niya is like parang gusto niya we have here free yourself and past life relationship so kung currently in a relationship kayo or may connection kayo this person would like to free his or herself gusto niya nang kumawala dito sa connection ninyong dalawa why? currently kung ano yung nararamdaman niya ngayon kung ano yung nararamdaman niya yun yung pinaka question natin anong nararamdaman niya ngayon nasasaktan siya Bakit siya nasasaktan? Kasi we have your camera, which is maaaring may other person involved in the situation. Pwedeng the snake. We have your competition. Enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. Ibig sabihin, pwedeng may third party involved dito sa situation. And ngayon, nasasaktan itong person na ito kasi gusto niya yung other person involved dito sa situation. Okay? And gusto niya nang kumawala or umalis dito sa situation ninyong dalawa. Kung this is your ex or this is your past life relationship or past connection nitong mga ex nga So nakukuha ko yung energy na unti-unti slowly nawawala papunta sa iyo. Kumbaga papunta na siya dun sa other person involved. Okay? Some sort of separation here with the four of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, bottom of the deck ito. Yung iba sa inyo, currently, hindi pa nakakaalis, ha? Hindi pa nakakaalis itong person na ito. And then, you're just asking kung ano pa yung nararamdaman niya sa'yo ngayon, kung may pagmamahal pa ba. Eh, ang answer natin dyan is gusto niyang kumawala. Gusto niyang umalis. Nasasaktan siya kasi uh, meron siya tinitignan na ibang tao. Okay? sabi na natin yung pagmamahal. Wala na. Napunta na dun sa iba. Okay? Sorry to say that. Pero yun yung nakikita natin dito. We have your seduction kasi, oh. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So, pwedeng may third party interference dito or may third person involved in the situation. And we have here the sword and rose for some for, for some of you. Uh, this is some sort of clarity, truth, revelation. And uh, ngayon, para ang main focus na nitong person na ito is to cut down or alisin na itong connection sa inyong dalawa. Okay? Especially yung mga lumabas na cards dito. 
By the way, if you can hear my background, I'm very, very sorry. You know, medyo nandito tayo sa time na maraming tao and uh, very busy ang aking background. So, sorry about that. So, ayun nga. We have here... I have to pause a bit. Okay, sorry about that. So, we have here the Chariot, Knight of Swords, Five of Swords, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Energy. So, anong kukuha natin dito? Um... Gusto na talaga umalis ng person mo. Kung baga, uh, pwedeng currently stuck pa kayo sa situation. Pwedeng nagsasama pa kayo or sabi na natin may relationship pa between the two of you. Pero alam na niya yung gusto niya mangyari. Eh. And with the Knight of Swords, this is someone na natoto, na, 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 na siya, na, na, naiinip na siya dito sa paulit-ulit na nangyayari which is pwedeng palaging pag-aaway with the Five of Swords between the two of you. Pwedeng may marriage. Yun nga, sa marriage nyo laging away, ganyan. Okay, sorry about that. Naputol yung ating video. So, ayun nga po. Um, especially if there's marriage involved here with the wedding. Medyo hindi na siya nagiging okay. Okay? Uh, laging away na lang. So, uh, we have here with the nine of swords. Parang bahala na. Yun na lang yung energy ng person mo. Okay? Uh, willing na siyang mag-take ng risk which is to umalis sa situation no longer happy, yun yung energy niya. Hindi na siya masaya. Okay? And, uh, with the nine of pentacles, ace of wands, ace of swords, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Someone is waiting. Someone is waiting here dito sa situation, ha? This could be the other person involved in the situation. For some of you, pwedeng hindi mo alam na may another person involved. Pero, uh, there's someone here with the Nine of Pentacles. And very welcoming yung energy niya. Um, and especially, nagkakaroon na ng growth between the two of them. And I'm sorry to say, kaya, there's single person here. Pwedeng yung person mo wanting to be single or yung other person involved na could be single. Okay? And, um, yeah. Nakaka, nakakalungkot yung, uh, yung reading actually kasi ang epektado is ikaw. Okay? And we have here the High Priestess, the Hanged Man, and Queen of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. And, ang uh, nakukuha natin dyan is that follow your intuition. Alam mo, Ah, uh, for this, alam mo na hindi, kumbaga, ang makakapagsabi sa iyo ngayon kung ano yung nararamdaman ng person mo. Hindi itong reading na ito. Hindi ito. Huwag mo tong pagbasihan. We have here the high priestess. So nakikita dito na malakas ang iyong spiritual knowledge. Alam mo kung ano, malakas ang kutob mo. Minsan nga lang hindi mo pinakikinggan 'yon. Pero whatever this is na nararamdaman mo, ma makaklarified mo lang 'yan or mas Kumbaga, itong reading na ito, makakatulong lang ito as an advice, ganyan, or whatever is happening to give you clarity. Pero ikaw mismo ang nakakalam ko ano ang totoo. Nararamdaman mo yan kung talagang may other woman involved in the situation na talaga. Kung meron na talagang someone. Alam mo yun. And nararamdaman mo yun. Okay? And we have here the hanged man. Yes. Your person is really waiting. Waiting siya sa... Uh, kung kailan mangyayari itong pag-alis na ito. Actually, siya yung gustong gumawa ng action eh, yung pag-alis. Mas sa kanya kung nakukuha yung energy na siya yung may gustong umalis. Especially, free yourself is here. So, gusto niya na talagang kontrolin yung buhay niya, yung mga susunod na darating pa sa kanya. So, looking forward siya. Maybe for a union, reunion dito sa past na ito. Or dito sa other woman na ito. Tsaka, throughout your marriage, or sabi na natin sa pagsasama ninyo, or sa relationship ninyo, marami siyang natutunan. Okay? And I feel like, ang hirap kumawala dito sa connection niya with the other person involved. Kaya sobrang nalulungkot siya ngayon eh. Okay? Sobrang nalulungkot siya ngayon. And this person is really here with the Empress. Looking siya, looking siya sa another... I don't know. It feels so weird. Kasi alam mo yung nandun yung may mga responsibility siya. 
Pero mas gusto niyang gumawa ng action na bara-bara, parang ganun. Basta nalang gagawa ng action. Wala siyang pakialam doon sa responsibilidad. Or sa mga taong maapektuhan. So, medyo ano siya eh. Pero there's a lot of ano dito, pain na nararamdaman niya sa ngayon. Okay? So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope nakaresonate kayo. Please to like and subscribe to our channel, Unicorn Princess Tarot, Madam PTV. We, ho we all have 12 signs na reading dyan sa mga channels na yan. And if you're dealing with the Virgo, Virgo Philippines. I love you all guys and bye-bye. Okay, so ito naman po yung nakapick ng card number 3 which is the Miracles and Blessings. Everything has its gift. So ito yung napili mong card. Okay, so ang lumabas na uh, main energy ng person mo is the justice which is Libra energy. Okay, pero never mind the sign kasi energy lang naman yung napipick up natin, hindi yung mismong zodiac sign ng person mo. Actually, itong person na ito, yung energy na nauna ko naka, nakuha sa kanya, napipick up sa kanya is parang may galit siya. Okay, may inis. Okay, kung ano yung nararamdaman niya, nagagalit siya, naiinis siya. Pero hindi, actually hindi sayo. Hindi siya sa'yo naiinis, hindi siya nagagalit. Mas nagagalit siya o naiinis siya sa sarili niya. We have your addiction, so I feel like yung obsession dito, nandito yung tinatry niyang i-build up yung sarili niya with the hammer, tinatry niyang ayusin ang sarili niya, and tinatry niyang i-work out yung sarili niya because of you. You are the reason why. Ha? And we have here the phoenix, so maaaring uh, there's a lot of transformation, growth, ayan. So, andyan. Pero, kaya nga medyo naiinis siya sa sarili niya kasi bakit siya nagkakaganyan? Hindi niya ina-expect na magkakaganyan siya sa'yo. There's a lot of happiness here with the sun. Masaya siya. Might be there's some sort of an offer here. I don't know, pwedeng may new, this could be a new person with a flirt and uh, maaaring kaya siya nag Kumbaga, kaya siya nagkaka, nagkakaroon ng energy na parang ano ba tong nararamdaman ko, ganto ganyan. Parang ang dami niyang questions because uh, maaaring in a short period of time na pinapakita dito, ang bilis ng pangyayari. Parang recently lang, nag-flirt lang kayo, na, ganto lang kayo, and then now parang Ikaw na ba? Parang ganon yung question. Ikaw na ba talaga yung magiging uh, partner ko to be in the future? Kasi alam mo lahat ng gusto niya, nasa sayo eh. We have here the um, Seven of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Lahat ng gusto niya nasa you are this person's wish. Kumbaga, lahat ng, uh, kumbaga this person is fantasizing you, lahat na nangyayari, and um, there's some sort of uh, decision here, ko ano ba talaga yung gusto niya kasi you might be dealing with someone na hindi naman dati ganito, but biglang nagbago, biglang nagkaroon ng pag-aayos dito sa taong to and naguguluhan din siya bakit ganun and hindi siya ready actually with the five of swords, I feel like this person is trying to uh, parang pigilan yung sarili niya like yung inaaway niya yung sarili niya bakit ka nagkakaganyan-ganyan and we have here the high priest, this could be your soulmate so, actually, uh, with the, this could be the one and engagement dito, we have here, this could be the one and engagement, maaaring iniisip niya na ikaw na talaga yung person para sa kanya, pero hindi pa siya ready sa ngayon to have this deeper level of commitment. Pero, you know, nag, nagkakaroon ng pag-angat pag yung inyong connection, yung inyong communication, ganyan eh. And, uh, I don't know, but there's some sort of pagsisisi dito sa person na ito with the Five of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Maybe it has something to do with the money, kung paano niya hinandle yung finances niya noon. So, maraming pagsisisi dyan. Pwedeng napakabagal ng finances niya, kaya hindi niya may isa katuparan yung mga gusto niya mangyari. With the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like looking forward itong person mo sa stability, sa stability ng inyong, hindi man sa connection ninyo, Pero sa sarili niya, okay, as a person, gusto niya maging stable pagdating sa money. And nagkaroon siya ng mga parang problema pagdating dyan. And may mga, may mga nawala, may mga problems dito na nakita natin. But, you know, uh, we have here uh, with the four of wands, this is deep love. I mean, hindi niya rin, maintindihan sa sarili niya, bakit, niya nag, bakit siya nagkakaganito eh. With the two of pentacles, pwedeng may choices dito. 
pwedeng may choices na kailangan, decision na kailangan gawin or this or or undecided decision. Yung ano ah, dito, napaka-imbalance, ang hirap ang hirap balansehin especially na parang ang approach niya is like tinatamad siya or na, hindi siya makagawa ng decision, pwedeng siya yung may kailangan gawin decision dito. And pwedeng tinatamad siya or hindi pa siya ready at all. Especially yung pera niya medyo imbalance or medyo may kaguluhan pagdating sa finances. And we have here the world. This is your person looking, stalking. Yan, no? So, nagmamasid-masid itong person mo sa'yo. Pagtingin-tingin, ganyan. Looking at your photos here with the photograph. And actually, sa inyong connection, there's this, the chaser energy, which is, yung person mo is like, uh, pwedeng may paghahabol sa kanya. And ayaw niya ng ganito, kasi hindi naman siya ganito dati. Kaya nga parang may pag-ano siya, question siya. Nagagalit siya sa sarili niya, bakit nababaliw siya sa'yo? Nagagalit siya sa sarili niya, naiinig siya sa sarili niya, bakit siya nagkakaganito? Okay? Na hindi naman siya dati ganun. Pero actually, with the justice, alam niya kung ano yung gusto niya eh. Kaya lang naguguluhan siya, bakit, bakit ganito? Bakit niya nararamdaman yung ganito? Okay? So, a lot of questions here. Ha? Huh? So, uh, by the way guys, sorry about my background. So, medyo maingay tayo ngayon. Um, you know? And, yeah. So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope na ka-resonate kayo. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. Unicorn Princess Tarot, Madam PTV, and Virgo Philippines. I love you all and bye-bye. Okay, so ito naman po yung nakapick ng card number 4. So, kung ano yung nararamdaman niya sa'yo, at ay napili mo relationship patterns, it takes strength to recognize the, meet, the need for change. Okay, so yung napili mong card ay ito. Ang lumabas na main energy ng person mo is the Ace of Pentacles. You could be dealing with someone who is single, pero pwede rin namang hindi. Okay, pero for what I can see here, the main focus of this person is, you know, finances, sarili niya. Okay, so I feel like... Uh, You might be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Parang magtiwala ka lang. Pero hindi man dito sa taong to. I feel like kasi yung, yung energy ng person being free. Actually, uh, uh, concentrated siya sa sarili niya. Self-indulgence is here. Oo, naaalala ka niya with the cassette. So, kung ano nararamdaman niya ngayon, um, medyo sabihin na natin pinipigilan niya. Okay, kung ano man yung nararamdaman niya, ikaklarify natin yan mamaya kasi medyo hindi naging malinaw. You might be dealing with a karmic relationship right here and it is already ending with a tower. Some sort of an ending here with a karmic relationship. This could be, ah, okay, so pwedeng may relationship kayo nitong person na ito pero maaaring unti-unti na itong nag end Okay, pwedeng ganon. Yung iba sa inyo, you might be dealing with a single person. Doon sa mga um, currently in a relationship, possible mag-end yan because this is your karmic relationship. At saka dapat lang talaga mag-end kasi this is a karma. Karma sa buhay mo. Na kaya ibinigay sa iyo para marami kang matutunan. Matagal nga lang, matagal. But, you know, this person is not being honest. Hindi siya nagiging honest sa'yo, kulang sa pagtitiwala. Okay? And marami ka na natutunan sa kanya with the forgiving and learning. Oh. And I'm also seeing a twin flame energy connection dito. Alamin natin. Wait lang guys. Ah. Kukuha pa ako ng cards. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Ano nararamdaman niya towards this person? Okay, okay. Ano nararamdaman ni Ace of Pentacles towards this person? Alam mo yung pakaramdam niya sa'yo? Parang ikaw yung nightmare niya. Pero hindi yun yung nararamdaman niya towards you ha. Pero ang tingin niya parang ikaw yung nightmare sa buhay niya. Hindi naman sabihin na natin karma mo siya, karma ka rin niya eh. Ganun yung nangyayari sa inyo. This is a karmic relationship. Okay, we have here the world. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. 
Hindi ko to kukunin. Pero titignan ko. We have your Queen of Wands, Seven of Cups. Yes. You might be dealing with someone who is good uh, pagdating sa pagtulong sa tao. Ganyan. Submissive kind of a person. The tower is here. One more card, please. Yes, we have your Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So, um, we have here the High Priestess, the Moon, in reverse. Namawala na siya ng, okay, namawala na siya ng tiwala dito sa connection na ito, sa relationship nyo na ito, if you are in a relationship with this person. And for what I can see here, uh, with the world, this person is really looking at you, looking so beautiful. At saka parang may ino-open ka dito, like you're open with other choices, with other people. And nakikita yun ng person mo, hindi lang siya nagsasalita. And there's some sort of an ending here, maybe the stability between the two of you. Stability ng connection ninyo ha. Iniisip ka nitong taong to, pero sabi na natin sa pagmamahal, medyo ang hirap masabi kasi sa totoo lang, um, medyo ganyan oh, pwedeng, pwedeng ang nararamdaman niya sa'yo, mahal ka niya, pwedeng hindi. Kasi nagiging hindi siya totoo sa'yo, ha? And we have here addiction, like uh, you might be dealing with someone who has this addiction or pwedeng with the talking right here, pwedeng um, siya yung tipo ng tao na hindi mahiwalay sa cellphone or pwedeng ikaw to na kaya nagkakaroon ng kakitaan dito kung bakit hindi siya nag kumbaga yun yung nakikitang pinaka main uh, problem dito sa situation ninyo okay and we have here mask really not looking i mean not showing true feelings here hide personify pretend the you the sliding marami siyang itinatago ditong emotion so kung ano yung nararamdaman niya sa sa ngayon ngayon sa yung ngayon um ang totoo niyan hindi natin masasabi Okay, hindi natin masasabi pero iniisip ka niya. Ikaw ang nasa isip niya. Okay? Hindi natin masasabi pero pinipigilan niya kung ano man yung nararamdaman niya. Alam mo kung ano yun? Whether it is galit, whether it is pagmamahal, whether it is sadness, lahat yan pinipigilan niya. Hindi siya nagiging totoo. Okay? But this person is watching yun, nakatingin lang siya. Maybe it has something to do with the abundance. So, um, pwede may talk kayo regarding money. So, this per person is like naka-straight forward lang siya. Nakatingin lang siya sa kung ano yun dapat pag-focusan ng connection ninyo. Ng relationship ninyo. You might be dealing with a person na medyo, sabihin na nating medyo isip bata. With the playfulness, right? Reconciliation, honeymoon. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of passion. Ibig sabihin, parang init. So, you might have this good sex, sabi na natin ganun. And with the reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. Maaaring yung concentra concentration is with regards to this. Kung sino man ito, another person here in the situation, ang maaaring nagbabalik or pwedeng sa side mo, pwedeng sa side niya. Pero may nagbabalik dito. And isa pa ito sa nagiging problem. Okay? But we have here the strength card, Leo Energy, Ten of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. So, ang nakukuha natin yan, maybe, um, there's some sort of a help here with the strength. Parang may friendly, someone is watching you. Hindi lang itong taong to, ah. Another person dito sa situation is watching you. Okay? Maaaring, ang hinahanap mong quest, uh, answer is with regards to the other person. Kung ano nararamdaman ng other person sa'yo. Pero lumalabas din itong taong to. And actually, lahat ng to, uh, nakafocus. Sila, pareho sila, nag-iisip sa'yo. Tinitignan ka. And lahat nakatago yung emotion. Parehong pinipigilan. Ha? Parehong pinipigilan ang nakukuha nating energy dyan. Or kung isa lang naman ang person mo, take what resonate guys, hindi to magre-resonate sa lahat, pinipigilan ha. And we have here seven of cups, this could be someone from your past or um, you know, some sort of, I don't know, parang laging bago ng bago sa inyo eh. Yung pag-work out nyo together, may kanya-kanya kayong differences at the same time meron kayong pagkakapareho. Okay. Isa pa, pwedeng ito yung other person involved. May nakukuha tayong twin flame connection dito or soulmate connection. Actually, dalawang tao ang dumating dito, lumabas dito. Dalawa, kasi possible that you're dealing with a three person. I mean, two person. And, uh, kung ano man yung, if there's a family or, um, love dito, unti-unti siya natatapos or nag end Tower is here, the death is here, Scorpio energy. 
And, uh, I don't know, I feel like there's no more new beginning. Kasi, wala na naghihintay na next chapter sa inyong dalawa, sa totoo lang eh. You just have to clear out your mind. Alamin mo dapat talaga kung ano yung gusto mo. Na kailangan mong mag-take ng risk. Maaaring may mga kailangan kang gawin para magkaroon ng pagbabago. And there's some... some kind of assistance here kaya lang unpredictable hindi natin masasabi kung kailan dadating pero nandyan yung assistance parang naghihintay lang pero you have to take a risk and we have here two of pentacles hindi nagkakaroon ng pagpili very imbalanced ng energy and we have here queen of cups ah okay okay I feel like this person is just part of your past. Maaaring you are already committed or may relationship na with the new person. But this person is still thinking of you. Kung ano nararamdaman niya sa'yo, kung ano ang nararamdaman niya sa'yo, hindi natin, actually, hindi natin masasagot yung, yung, yung questions. Kasi, meron dito, focus siya sa sarili niya. Meron dito, Parang nagtitiwala lang siya doon sa connection between the two of you. Paulit-ulit kang iniisip na itong taong to. Pero itinatago niya or hindi siya nagiging totoo. Okay? Hindi pa rin lumabas ko na yung emotion. Kung mahal ka niya, parang wala lang. Parang kung ano yung nangyayari sa inyong dalawa, sige lang. Okay? So maaaring yun yung nararamdaman niya sa'yo, wala lang. Yun yung sagot, wala lang. Sorry if I disappoint you kung hindi ko nasagot yung tanong mo kung tanong na tanong nito. Pero hindi naman ako pwedeng mag-imbento dahil itong mga lumabas dito sa totoo lang, walang emotions. Okay? Mas nag-concentrate ito sa kung ano yung nangyayari, sige lang, tuloy-tuloy lang. And possible, an ending is happening here, some sort of ending, or pwedeng nag-end na at all. Pero kung ano yung masasabi ko lang sa'yo ngayon, iniisip ka pa rin niya, nitong taong to. Okay? Ah, medyo parang nagkakaroon siya ng alang, al, 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 alinlangan, alanganin, parang ganon. Pero tuloy-tuloy lang, okay? The high priestess is here, bottom of the deck. Alam mo, follow your intuition. Alam mo yung kutob mo, malakas yan. The high priestess is your energy. Ano ba yung kutob mo? Mahal ka pa ba nito? Gusto ka pa ba nito? Nalulungkot ba siya para sa'yo? Sa inyong dalawa? Dahil kung ano yung iniisip mo, kung ano yung nararamdaman mo, yun yung totoo. Parang hindi mo na kailangan ng reading na ito dahil malakas naman ang intuition mo eh. Alam mo naman kung ano yung totoo eh. Okay? Pwedeng na, nagkakaroon na ng kalungkutan or kasiraan sa inyong dalawa. Between your connection, pwedeng unti-unti nang tumatamlay o unti-unti nang namamatay. Kung baga sa ilaw, eh, unti-unti nang humihina. Pwedeng ganun yung connection ninyo. Pwedeng ganun yung sitwasyon ninyo. I would like to clarify, guys. Yeah, I'm seeing separation between the two of you. Free yourself is here. Maring ikaw ito na may hawak ng sitwasyon ninyong dalawa ngayon. Maaring yung, kung in relationship ka dito sa taong to, maaring tumatakbo na lang yung sa inyo, sa iyong relationship ninyo sa sex. Pwedeng ganon. So, we have here passion. Yes. This is passion. Pero for me, it is all about sex. And we have here forgiving and learning. Maaaring natutunan mo na yung mga bagay na dapat mong matutunan dito sa taong to. And we have here, this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Alam mo kung sino yung pinatutukuyan nito. We have here, worth waiting for. May naghihintay sa'yo. And this is not the person. Ito lang yung nagiging reason kung bakit wala pa kayo nitong taong to. Nung taong dapat para sa'yo. Okay? So, maaaring dalawang tao nga yung nakikita natin dito. And the other one is like hiding something. Hindi nagiging totoo because of this person. So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope nakaresonate kayo. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. Unicorn Princess Tarot, Madam PTV, and Virgo Philippines. I love you all and bye-bye.